Hey guys, today we have something very exciting which is this giant box that we are going to unbox. As you can see, it is brand new so I'm going to start cutting into it. So this box, I haven't seen what was inside for 10 months, uh, a little over 10 months. So I have no idea what is inside but I call it box number one. So that means that there should be some teas and also makeup. So this is... It's so difficult to open. So this is a box of makeup, but I think I had some space on top and uh, that's why I filled it up with some tea on top, I'm guessing, because I have another box called box number two, which is just skincare. So since this one has some tea in it, hopefully there isn't that much that I have to put away. I think a lot of it is still makeup. Okay, so I can't talk and cut this at the same time. I'm gonna cut it first. I got it open and let's see. First off, I see this thing which isn't even makeup. There's actually a lot of skincare like thrown in here too. So I'm guessing this is kind of skincare plus makeup box. And over here is all the tea. So I'm going to attempt to pull them out. Oh. Okay. Okay, I got the tea out. Okay, I double confirm that everything is tea. And there was a gigantic box of tea. It's all of my husband's brand new tea. And now things are starting to spill over. So I've got to be a bit careful. But you can see that almost um, more than half, definitely more than half, almost two thirds of the box is still makeup. <laughs> Alright, I still have my handy scissors over here, but there actually isn't as much bubble wrap as I thought there would be. Just some of these compacts, they are definitely wrapped. But you can see, uh, below is definitely more well packed, like bubble wrap and stuff. But as I went up to the top, I think I just got tired and gave up. And I just put all the lipsticks, or some of the lipsticks into just a giant Ziploc bag. <laughs> so I don't think anything is shattered because I am very careful when it comes to packing things. Oh, there is some tea stuff, I guess. Uh, anyway, we will still be unpacking box number two too. So there's definitely a lot of things inside. I'm hoping that there isn't makeup inside box number two. Okay, before we get started, I was very careful while packing because I used my reusing... That was not English. Because I tried to recycle and reuse all these bubble wraps. So before anybody come for me, I just need to explain quickly, which is that all these bubble wraps I got in parcels sent to me. And then I reuse them to wrap stuff like that to secure them. And then I will be reusing them to mail up parcels. Okay, so that's done. Let's just begin. So over here, this is skincare. This is from Vichy. And uh, I think it's at the top because I got it like as a PR package um, closer to the moving date. So I just like threw it in whatever box was still open. So this is just a double correction daily care. I haven't used it yet. So quite excited to use that. Okay, next up, this thing over here looks like skincare, but it isn't. So this one, I remember that I got this inside the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. I think it was 2019 because yeah, now we're in 2020. So this one is the Omo Rovitza uh, Queen of Hungary Mist. I know that this rose gold means that it was a limited collection, limited edition collection because it was like I think it was like number 21 or number 25 or even the first item. It was supposed to be a high value inside the box. So this one is considered a makeup product for me because uh, I use the mist at the end of makeup or like in between makeup to refresh my skin. So that is definitely makeup. This one over here is Fossies. I know my sister gave this to me. It's still brand new in the box. It's just, I don't know what's the brand. It just says Premium Eyelashes Star Lash. So this I will definitely be keeping. Uh, a lot of my makeup, well, let me just uh, unbox this while I talk to you. A lot of my makeup is already decluttered because uh, I will try to give them away when they were brand new. So a lot of things over here I know I love. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this stack over here is kind of like... Oh! I think I broke already. Great, now I have bronzer on the floor which is fine because... I will clean that up eventually. I mean, I'm not, not eventually, but later on. Oh, this is really painful. It's like scratching me. <laughs> okay, so this thing already broke. So that's fine. And this thing, you can see, I really used it. Uh, I remember I was irritated that it broke already. So yeah, that's as best as I can in terms of closing it. So this is from Innisfree and it's just a dual. A, a blusher, it doesn't have name because it's all in Korean. A blusher and a highlighter dual. So along with that, this one is Mary Luminizer, which is a highlighter. And I know I, oops, hope I'm not blinding you. I bought this in Malaysia and it was hardly used. 
And then these two over here, I know my sister gave it to me. They are both from Colista. And I was just very um, interested to try because I've never really tried this brand. Okay, so I think like a little bit of this broke too, maybe during the travel. So this one is the blush and it comes with a brush <laughs> underneath. But it is so glittery that sometimes I use it as a highlight too. Yeah, definitely that one broke a little because it doesn't close properly anymore. Oh great, I was trying to open the wrong side. So now this one over here is the Blusher Eyeshadow Duo because it has this part over here. So this is once again like the blush and highlight kind of category. Okay, next up over here is another skincare product. I don't know why it's inside this box, but this is the For Real Luna Play. You can see it is still brand new inside the box. I remember I got this from Look Fantastic, the um, Easter Egg Collection. So I'm pretty sure it was 2019. I have yet to use that and that is skincare. Okay, but more makeup. This is from Ilo London, Flattery Light. It gives you a flattery, wispy look. Obviously, it's brand new in the box. I remember I got this from a Look Fantastic Beauty box, like one of those normal monthly subscription. So I'm re I was really excited to get that. And this one I had for a really long time. I think this one I bought it off Shopee and it was like so cheap. You can see I still have many sets left. So this one is just Taiwan Wispy Lashes. Okay, let's open up this one. This I'm pretty sure from the looks of it, the bottom one is Pixie. So I'm sure that these are blushes and a lot of these things I haven't used in such a long time nor seen in such a long time So it's like Christmas all over again because they're almost like brand new, new to me Oh, that was really really well taped So I don't think anything here is broken I'm pretty sure those three black things are EG Lips blushes Oh, they're not, they're eyeshadows. See, I don't even know what they are anymore. So these three are eyeshadows, single shadows, and they are from this French brand called Avril. Okay, I'm not going to be swatching, but I'm just going to be showing you. This one is an olive green. This one is a gold shade. I love this one. And this one, uh, I loved it on the website, but when I got it, it's actually quite disappointing. It just reminds me of Elsa or Frozen, but it's not as blinding. This one is Pixie by Petra. It's a blush that I once again, oh, it's a little bit shaking around. Once again, I got it inside a Look Fantastic um, subscription box. Okay, my leg is already starting to hurt. Okay, now this one over here, I, I can kind of remember a little bit about what is what. How do I even open this? As you can see, I'm trying not to spoil my bubble wrap so I can use them again. So this one, I know that this is Innisfree and I haven't used it Yeah, I bought it in Korea. Oh, this is powders, my powder collection. <laughs> Just two of them here. So this one is Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. I bought this in Korea. I've yet to open it, so I'm not going to open it here. This one I got in a Look Fantastic uh, subscription box. It's from Bella Pierre and it is a banana setting powder. And let's see, it still looks fine. I thought it was like getting a little bit chunky actually because I haven't used everything in so long. So this one is um, opened already but lightly used. Okay, this one. Oh, okay, let's just get this out of the way. So this box is pretty. <laughs> and uh, it's all my extras. I definitely have way more extras right now. They are not going to fit inside this box. I'm just going to show you lightly because I do not want to mess it up. This is from AOA and it's the Wonder Blender. It's just another, the last backup that I have because I've gone through a few of it. I love it and I still have yet to try this. It's in my uh, Shop Miss A uh, haul. That was from like three years ago, I'm pretty sure. And this one is one of their best seller, which is the black color sponge. Yet to try, I have like sharpeners below. I have all the tools for my eyelashes, false lashes, I mean, like the dual glue and scissors to trim it. I have more Korean puffs over here. And just like extra, you know, those eyelash curler rubbers, uh, some of those sharpeners again. And then these are just like the e.l.f. brush guard. And I also have just some like pack uh, holders that some of the uh, blushes came in. So this box, I will just leave it as is. Now let's just get this skincare out of the way. It doesn't even belong here. This is a toner and it's from Nails Yard Remedies. I know I got this from the Le Fantastic 2019 Beauty Chest. 
Okay, shall we? Let's get this out of the way too. Oh, I have two of them, I remember. These are once again from Look Fantastic and I've yet to open them. They are both the same thing, Omorovitza Balancing Moisturizer. So I have two of the same here. And I don't know why I put them on top. I'm guessing because all of those are glass bottles, which is why I put them on top. Okay, we have more like well-wrapped ones here, but let's just go through this pouch. This pouch is so full. This is from Real Barrier, the pouch. And yeah, it's all makeup in here. Okay, let's just see. I'm just gonna like take out and tell you. Bare Minerals Prime Time Primer. I think I used that like Lee and I had to pack this in. This one is from what? This is Misha Perfect Eyebrow Styler. I'm pretty sure it's like brand new or maybe used ones. And my eyelash curler. I haven't seen my eyelash curler in so long. This has a spring to it, but I can't even remember where I got this from. Now next up, over here I have a few things. And this, I remember I got like four or five of them. Oh no, they look like they are totally dried out. And these are from Giverny, which is the metallic liquid shadow. I'm pretty sure I got this from the website McQueeza. And then I got a lot more uh, Giverny that I love way more from another website called... Okay, I can't remember the website name, so let's just move on. So when I pull it out, there's still like those like sound, you know, like as though it's still moist, but it doesn't look like it's budging. So, I will have to test it out. It does look like it's dried up. They are like those Stila metallic liquid shadows. So, this one is another shade. Yeah, it looks like hard and chunky inside. Although, it still has the sound. So, hopefully, there's still pigment to it because I know I barely used this. Barely used any of them, actually. Okay, another liquid eyeshadow. This one is from Studio 10, which means that I got it from Look Fantastic, one of the boxes. This sounds moist. This sounds like it's still fine, so hopefully it is. Although I don't really use all those things often, but it's still sad that they go before I can use them. I had this for so long. This is from NYX and it's the Jumbo Eye Pencil, just the white color in milk. This one is from Avril and it's like a dual. So this one is a very taupe, nice, all over eyeshadow color. And then this one is an eyeliner, so I don't really love the eyeliner part. And they are a bit sticky. So this NYX guy is really quite sticky. Either something happened to him or he's just like that because the rest of them seem to be fine. So this is from Ben Minerals. It's a good hydration primer. I know I got this in the Easter Egg from Look Fantastic because I was really excited for that. And this one is another primer which, once again, you know, I just got LF. LF, I'm just going to call it. I'm just going to say it that way because it's just way too long. So this one is a primer in transit camera close up. It's a mask, moisturizer, and primer in one. And then this is the other one, and there's another one inside. This pink color is so beautiful. It's definitely not looking the best anymore. So sad. I will have to try them. This guy, this guy still sounds a little bit wet. But the pink one looks like it's dead. Oh yes, another one of these spoolies. I always just get them well, when I go do like eyelash extensions. They always just give me those. This one is a makeup fixing mist. It's still brand new. It's from Pixie, And I've yet to open it yet. Oh, and then I know I got a couple can make products. I know I have a lipstick inside which I love. And this one, I think I got them from uh, inside a Watson's box. Like when Watson's did a... PR drop. So this one is Can Make Black Quick Easy Eyeliner. It looks so short and small but it looks like it's gonna be a very sharp tip. So I've yet to open that yet. And then I just have like a lot of new and like open stuff mixed in together. This is obviously brand new from Maybelline, the Magnum Big Shot. I know I bought this in Malaysia and I've yet to open it. This one is Lot & Berry which means it's from LF. And this is a strobing pencil, so what I'll do is like an inner corner or an ego style. And that is the color over here. I don't know whether you can see because it's literally like um, kind of blending in with my skin color. So this video is going to be very very long. I might have to split it into two parts. Okay, more brand new stuff over here. I'm pretty sure this is from Beauty Expert Times LF. So Inika, which is a vegan brand. This is the vegan mascara, long lash. Very excited to try this. What is this? Oh, it's another box. So it's again from LF. It's a Delilah Brow Groom, double-ended eyebrow groomer. All of those I've yet to open. This one I'm pretty sure I've yet to open too. Pixie, they used to send me some packages. Now I keep moving until they probably don't even know my address anymore. So this is the Rose Flash Balm. I put it in here because they said that you can use this as a makeup 
like before your makeup like primer moisturizing kind of primer mm, yeah so i have yet to try it yet but i put it in here to try to use it as makeup so a couple things from ICO which means that I got them in LF again. So they are different actually. This is the Travel Size Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner, yet to open. And then this one is the mascara. It's just called Lash Alert Wake Up and Go Black. This one's a tube one I think. I'm quite excited to try this one day. And then let's see. Eh? Oh, I have another one of the exact same thing I think. This one is the Black Magic Mascara. What is this one called? Lash Alert. Oh, they're different. That's awesome. So um, I will try this soon. And then this one, I you know, honestly, I can't remember if I opened them already. Pretty sure these do pretty much brand new. This is again LF. Everything I'll show you here. I think if they're not LF, then I'll tell you that they're not. Because then you can just assume that everything is from LF. This is from Dose. Dose. Yeah. So once again, LF. Punk Volumizer Mascara. And then this one is the BBB London Ultra Slim Brow Definer. Yeah, not gonna tell you where I got it from, you know already. <laughs> and this one is Illa Masca. And this is, oh, I think I have one that's like opened. I'm pretty sure I brought it to Malaysia, I guess. Yeah, but then this one is like the brand new backup. It's the Hydra View Rehydrating Gel 7ml Little Pot. And then I just have more mascara. Um, not mascara, eyelash curler extra rubbers inside here. So this pouch. Oh, I just, oh, oh, I knocked you over. I'm sorry. I will wash this pouch. Okay, hopefully the angle is fine. Let's open up this one. This is Laura Geller. Oh, I was so excited when I got this once again from LF. And I'm so glad that it's not dried up yet. And I wrapped it by itself because I was scared that it will leak. So they say to shake well to blend pigments and oil before use. You can see it's definitely separated which was kind of the way it came. So I'll just keep shaking it and hopefully the product will settle and blend in together. Okay let's open this one because I think this is highlighters because right off the bat I see my Morphe highlighter right on top. So when I got this Morphe highlighter I was so excited and then I packed it in to move already. And let's see the compact is still fine love this it's in the shade spark and then i have this one that i almost decluttered last time but i'm actually often using it now ever since i decided to not declutter it this is from dossier and then i have this one over here this is a blush so i don't know why it's inside my highlighters and this one is from ila Masca in the shade kt this is how it looks like i guess i always just I guess I anyhow mix them because this one over here is a duo from Fenty Beauty. I know my friend gave this to me, my friend Laura. And this is Mean Money and Hustle Baby. <laughs> Obviously, it's a highlighter. So, oh, I know how I packed it already. I packed it in based on like similar size so that my bubble wrap would be a nice like shape like that. Okay, this one was actually quite easy to open. This is all the round stuff. So this is a eyeshadow, single eyeshadow, metallics eyeshadow in Selena Gold Mask. So funny. Uh, it looks fine, I guess. Oh, there's actually like a layer of oil at the top. Not sure if you can see. So I'll probably have to blend them in, in together and hope that they still work. So over here now, this one is a highlighter. This is from e.l.f. And this is the, pretty sure it's pink diamonds. So that's how it looks like. E.l.f. is fine. Elf is like so cheap and so sturdy. So the Elf one, okay, so the Australis, I got it from Lacey SG, which is one of my favorite websites. And then the Elf one, I'm pretty sure I got it from like some other website for review. So this one is Tarte, which is like the birthday gift party. It's so old already. Uh, he still looks fine. So that's how it looks like. And then this thing over here, ah, my EG Lips brushes brushes my eg lips blushes i bought them in korea uh at the eg lips store so yeah that is a purple shade it looks fine as long as they have no more i'm very very happy already and this one is another shade over here yeah i think i only bought two shades okay now this one over here Oh, I think at the same shop, is it? This is from The Sam. So I love their concealer, which is why I bought this one in Korea. It's The Sam Wu Brush, a blush. <laughs> so this is how it looks like. 
Okay, so the last... No, this is not the last. There's still like way more bubble wrap stuff down there. Oh yes, at the top I see something that I was so excited about but I barely used it and then I packed it in already. And it broke. Oh no, this thing broke. Pretty sure it broke. Or oh, is that the way it's supposed to be like protruding out? Okay, I don't remember the packaging being like that but I guess that's how it's supposed to be. So this is from Milani. And I use this kind of like a highlight. Oops. Highlight and brush, blush, highlight and blush duo. So this is pretty much new. Okay, moving on. What is this black thing over here? Oh, it's some powder. Oh, okay, this is from Bare Minerals. So the Milani brush, Jesus, the Mina, <laughs> the Milani blush was from. I can't remember if it was from Milani itself or from Watson's but this one is from LF so this is the mineral veil powder I, I'm so excited to test that out way more because I think I kind of like it I'm not very sure so this bag over here I think they're mostly lipsticks and like lip liners and like lip related stuff lip glosses so I'm just gonna pull that out and show you guys I feel like I'm going to regret pulling this out, right? Because I'm not leaving it inside the Ziploc bag. But let's just do it. Okay, this. I got this from LF. It's a Burberry lip... What is this though? Lip velvet. So like a liquid lipstick but in velvet... Uh, sh velvet form. Oh, this sounds good. He was very new when I first packed him in because it was inside the 2019, I think, beauty chest. So I was very excited. I was thinking about that lipstick. So... <laughs> That was like pretty much the only few lipsticks that I remember. I have some uh, 3CE Style Nanda minis here. I have one with me right now. And I think I didn't really think that the other shades were that necessary to bring along. So I packed them in. So this shade over here. Oh, beautiful. This is how it looks like. Everybody looks fine. And then this shade over here. Eh? Oh, no. I packed it in and I'm pretty sure I have the um, full size with me right now. I'm really not very sure. And this one over here looks beautiful. Okay, next up, I think, uh, yes, I have two of this. I'm pretty sure I bought them myself. Yes, I bought them in Korea and APU. This is the marker pen tint and they're so cheap. I just got two different shades, one coral and one red. And then these things, these two, I bought them when I was in uh, London. So these are from Poundland. So obviously they were a pound each. They are from different brands. This is the Rimmel Vinyl Bronze. It's like a very shiny lip gloss. Sounds fine. Anyway, I don't think I went to like London and Paris too long ago. So they're not as old. But well, actually the Givenchy is also not as old. So I don't know what happened to him. This is from Bourjois. I think I... Oh yes, I bought another shade. So I bought this uh, coral looking one. He looks so new and okay and then i got this one also it's just called sweet keys so they're just like the same exact thing but just different shades along with my aoa i, I remember i also got a couple makeup products and this is one of it i love this this is the aoa studio diamond lip gloss i only got one shade and i should have just gotten more yes this is probably one of my favorite lip gloss and he still sounds fine too Okay, sorry I keep shifting because it's getting a little bit uncomfortable. So this one, I think I got it from some uh, Taiwanese website or Hong Kong website. But this is actually a, a Bangkok brand, Thailand brand. So it's from the brand Mistin and it's called Pink Magic. It is just a lip balm but it tints and like turn your lips pink in color. This one is from LF and it's the Skin Chemist Rose Quartz Lip Plumper. Yes, he's totally fine because I think I only used it like once or twice but I highly enjoyed it okay moving on I'm like picking out whatever is colorful because there's a lot of black stuff inside this is from Mellow it's the matte liquid lip paint he's pretty much brand new because I got it in one of the LF boxes I'm pretty sure it was the Christmas one this one over here is from Curry's so it's the brand keep cool and it is a tinted lip balm that is very uh, high pigmented so very excited to use this I miss this so much over here, hmm, why did I... Oh, okay, I wrapped this... Oh, goodness. I wrapped this inside bubble wrap because it has this lid that is already broken and just cannot afford to be much broken anymore. As you can see, that's what I mean. So this one is the shade Bear It All. It's from Wet n Wild. It was the... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the oldest lipstick I have. 
but I really highly enjoy the shade. Then this one over here is pretty new to me. It's the Lot and Berry Crayon Lipstick in Maxi Matte. Okay, so that's how it looks like. I know I used it once and packed it in because it came in one of the Christmas LF boxes. This this is the old one, 2018 I think, or 2017 Lipstick Queen. This is the Frog Queen's lipstick. It still looks like very new because I like it so much. I try not to use it until I use up my older stuffs. I did think about this last night when I was thinking about filming the video today. This one is from Curry's and it's one of my favorite brands, Eureka. It's the lip tattoo pen. Oh, this was inside my project pen. And then I accidentally packed it in. So I don't use this part, but I like the plumper part. Oops, I've used up all of my favorite product from them, which is the eyebrow tint. So this is the last item that I have from them that I'm just trying to use up. Okay, let's carry on. Pencil over here. This one is from Ila Masca and it is called the Lip Crayon Coloring Pencil. That's not what I would write on the makeup product. So this one is brand new, I just got it. And then, oh, Makeup Revolution. I know I got this when we were in London, Birmingham, I think, at this uh, shop, obviously. <laughs> it was that cheap, I think. This is from Makeup Revolution. I was so excited to see them. I think they were only 99 cents each or like one ninety nine, And it's like something that I've always wanted to try. They are really pigmented and they do stay on very long. So I was very happy about this. Definitely would recommend you to purchase this guy is here. Okay. Okay, this one I'm pretty sure. I, oh, I got this in Poundland. So this one is NYX Expert Last um, Expert Last Lip Color. And I can't remember it's like Snow something. Snow Cone, which is why I bought it because I thought it was just such an adorable name. So it's very like glittery and I love the color a lot. But once again, barely used it. So now this entire set, I remember it is from Curry's and it is from this brand called Self Beauty. Uh, I really want to try more of their products because I do enjoy it. So they're all black. I have to open them up so we can see the shades. Oh my god, I've been trying to pull it because I thought it's a lipstick but it isn't. It's a twist off because it's a lip gloss. They still sound and look fine. I've, I think I've only used them like once or twice. So... <laughs> Oh, this smells really good. So they're definitely still pretty fresh. Okay, so that's another shade's coral. Now I'm starting to wonder if I only have four. Or do I have five of it? Oh, I see another one inside here. So I have five of it. So this one is the more pinkish shade. As long as they don't have like a weird white color to them, I think they're fine. Okay, my Burberry almost committed suicide, but I saved him. So this one is... Why do three of them look the same? Okay, let's see the last shade over here. And it is once again like a purpley looking. This is a little bit scary because the brush and the color looks very different. So I will have to like, like stir it around a little bit before I use it. Okay, moving on. More black stuff. This one is from Ila Masca. Oh, I remember this lipstick because it looked very freaky when I first got it. It has this like sweating dots on it. But... It seems to be fine, so I will continue using that. This one over here, oh, this is one of my oldest things that I got when I went to Korea, or or was it like just Curry's, they just sent it to me? Curry's is this Korean website. Wait, now I'm confused, because this is a period. Yes, yes, I'm pretty sure this is one of the products from Curry's. It's very old, but it still looks fine, and I highly enjoy it, so I will continue using it. Now, this is one of the Cezanne products. I thought this was can make. Uh, but this came with the Milani and the can make items and it's from Watson's. I love it. It's such a beautiful color. Uh, it has like weird lines on it but that's because I used it I guess. It's totally fine. It should be totally fine because I got it right before I packed the box. Oh, now these things are old. I think I've already decluttered and gave away a lot of it so I think I only have two left. These are the most long-lasting lipsticks and they are both from the brand Roman so it's from via Curry's and I know I've quite uh, this is like a very normal shade that I would use way more often and then I think I have a bright one yes this one is a bright one so they definitely already like come out with new products new packaging probably don't even call it this anymore <laughs> but they look fine to me so I will continue using them Okay, now also from Roman, I was thinking about this because these are one of my favorite lip products. I think I have three of them, but they are one of my oldest lip products. And also, I've used them a ton, but I simply refuse to let them go. 
because I just want to use it up. Okay, we'll find more of it. I'm pretty sure I have four shades. So these are Romand. They don't have the name here in English, but now they have like totally new packaging. See, it looks like totally different color. Still smells quite okay. I will still continue using it. I love this. They are like lip gloss, but you, uh, what I do is I apply a semi-generous layer and then I will blot off with tissue and it just leaves this like um, popsicle fresh looking color to your lips so I absolutely love that formula now I have four of this again but this one is a different formula it's again from Roman via Curry's this is matte I'm pretty sure and they are like those uh, four seasons spring autumn kind of color so I'm pretty sure this is like spicy looking so that's probably for like the fall and then this one looks a little bit darker, so they probably market this for the, um, I don't know, winter. These are definitely the newest Roman lipsticks that I have. So I uh, have high expectations for them. They better be alive. Found another one of this. And we will just find the rest later on. Oh, please be fine. This is my favorite. Oh, this is my favorite fig. A dust bunny just like a dust flew out with it. Okay, he still smells quite okay because they have like fruit scents in them which I'm guessing is like perfume that they artificially put in. This one, I don't know, I cannot remember already. It looks like maybe spring. So it looks a little bit disgusting because I used it over other colors too. Okay, we will find the rest of them later on. Okay, so then that means that I have one mini with me because this is the large, the only like full size that I have from Stau Nanda. It's in the shade Muse. And I think I took the mini to use instead. Yeah, that sounds smarter. And then this one is just another one of the mini. I think it was like a set of five or a set of six. Can't remember. I think I got them from Curry's. They were so tiny and so worth the price. Although I didn't pay for it. <laughs> this is another item that I got from Curry's and it is from La Palette Beauty. La Palette Beauty already does not even exist. They're just selling their bags right now. So that's how old it is, but this is one of my favorite red lipsticks because it is very hydrating. But when you blot it off, because you know you don't want the red to travel around, when you blot it off, it stays on your lips forever. This is from Bella Pierre, which means it is from Look Fantastic. Ah, I love this shade. And he still looks fine. Okay, I had to change position. Also, I hope that everything was in focus. Focused? <laughs> what is that an ED? So this one is from Incredible. It's a glazing over intense color. And I'm pretty sure I got this in LF again. The color, um, I'm not very sure, but it might get decluttered eventually. Okay, moving on. Oh, this. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is a Singaporean brand, I'm pretty sure. It's from Color Me Happy. And I highly enjoy the formula, but I don't love all the shades. And I have four over here. So let's see. I know it's like so fake Dior. Oh, I love this shade. It's so fake Dior packaging, but they are very hydrating, which is why I like them. And then this is, oh, this is a little bit nude for me, but I'm gonna keep it because of the formula. This one is my favorite one, which is why it looks so disgusting. I used it over so many different color lipsticks. And this one is a brighter one. So this four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the only four that I have from this brand. Okay, some stuff that I bought myself on uh, Shopee when they I collaborated with them on a video and it was like a hundred dollars credit and I had to like use it to buy stuff. So I remember this was only like seven bucks each. Oh, I love this shade. I think you can tell what kind of shades I like. And then I just got like a brighter color option. These are really good and these are from, I should actually tell you what they are. Okay, they don't have the brand name on here but I'm pretty sure these are from Etude House. Okay, so this one is from the brand Clematis. So I'm pretty sure this is from uh, Lacey. And I think I only got one product from them. So this is the Morning Dew lipstick. It's like one of those clicky ones. Okay, there's like black stuff on it. But I'm pretty sure it is because I mixed it in with something else. So I will continue using that. <laughs> so this one is Mellow. And I think I barely use this. It's a lip pencil. Mm, and it looks like you can wind it up but it isn't. It's actually, you have to sharpen it. I think I got that from LF, one of the boxes. Ah, Pixie. Okay, so I love Pixie for their skincare, but they also, oh, that's like too much. Okay, there's also some that is like their lip products. I'm pretty sure I got the full line of this. Can't remember if I actually decluttered some of them. So this is like this stunning red shade. 
sounds fine, looks fine. I'm glad that they survived because I would like to use them more. And this is one of their nudes. They have like a five or six nudes that honestly look very similar, but I actually enjoy and wear them all. <laughs> so this one, okay, he looks a bit different. Let's hope he sounds fine. Okay, this sounds a little bit more dry. Hopefully it's fine. And then this one is a darker shade. We are going to dig it out. There's more below here. This one is a little bit of a brighter color. If you're interested, just ask me the... Just comment down below and ask me for the shade name. Because I'm just showing you the color here. But I'm not like reading the shade names to you. It's so difficult to put in. Okay, and I see another one because this is such a bright color. Yeah, Pixie one all sounds pretty good. They are all like... Um, not the oldest. But I was very worried about them. So I have more over here. Oh, this color is beautiful. It's like very ox blood. Okay, so he's fine. And then this one over here, you see, it looks like another red that you had just seen. But they do look quite different on the lips. And then I have more nudes over here. This is one of my favorites because it is a little bit like darker. So you look less dead. <laughs> and then this one. Oh, okay, he has some like weird color difference, but we will have to test him out. I feel like there might be more Roman ones, but they're kind of like underneath. So this one, yes, we have three over here already. So this is the last one, the last missing piece. He looks fine too. This is a little bit darker. And then this one, I know I bought it in Poundland. This was so good. It's from Maybelline. And I'm not sure, but I heard somewhere that this are actually discontinued oh yeah, thank god he is fine because he is barely used i only used him when i bought him in poundland in london and in paris then after that mm, i feel like i did not really use it that much this one is from Bouja. um one of the boxes i can't remember which box i got this in or which brand sent this to me <laughs> this is the Bouja rouge edition velvet i love this so much oh he looks kind of dried out though but yeah, there's still like wet product on it, so I'm very glad. I would definitely want to get more use out of that. Mm. These two Perry Pera, pretty sure I bought this myself on Shopee. They are the Airy Ink Velvet, and I got two different shades. So I'm pretty sure it was that same Shopee video. They still sound totally fine. And I just got like a brighter shade once again, and this shade that I know I much prefer, which is just like a mauve shade. Okay, they both sound good. So this one, ah, uh, this is one product that I was very tempted to declutter. It's from Rimmel. Let me show you. This is how it looks like. I don't love the shade. It is very frosty and like baby, young baby girl. And uh, I paid for all this and then the brand decided not to uh, pay me back. So I don't even remember. I don't think I did the ad for them in the end because they didn't decide to pay me. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure I have one more. Yes, these are from Curry's again. This is the brand SEP Beauty and I highly enjoyed them. So I, let's see because they don't have the... Oh, they do have it here. So this is how it looks like. Like one of those nudes. Oh no, it's refusing to go down. So you can tell whenever this kind of things happen means that it is getting old. So I'm not going to wind them up but you can see all the different, different shades over here. And I have a total of four. This one, I know I got this, I bought this in Watson's, one of my first few lipstick purchases is from Revlon. And I got this Seductive Sienna because I wanted this kind of like spicy brick color. He looks fine, thankfully. Um, I think I kind of even have like attachment issues with him. This one, I'm pretty sure it's from NYX itself or was it from LF? So this one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, metallic one barely used it but it's just like a fun shade that i will just keep until it expires and then i won't repurchase okay we are already reaching the bottom this one is from moonshot so this is from curry's and i'm pretty sure this is already out of date but he still looks fine it's a very beautiful color and i'm pretty sure this is one of the lisa shades because uh it came with one of the lisa cushion foundation which is all gone already this one is a random I can't remember the name of this, uh, but it was just from this like agency in Singapore and they sent me this one and some like Viap mask. It's from the brand, still not sure, but it's just called Wonder Lovely Dolly Girl. Yeah, 
So I think it's Won Dolly or some brand like that, WD. So I will continue using because it's pretty new. Oh, there's still stuff inside here. Oh, this one. I bought this in Tuku for school. Yeah, this one is the Milk Teen Pink. My first ever, one of my first ever purchases was Tuku for school. Green color tube, some tint like that. And then when I wanted to buy it, it was already like discontinued. So I bought this one. It isn't as good, but it's still pretty good. I highly enjoy this and I will definitely purchase more. Okay, so that's one Ziploc done. And then over here, do you want to see brushes? I doubt you want to see brushes because they are like tools and not really makeup. So I'm just like switching them around to show you these are my brushes. And then we will leave it inside here and we will move on. Oh, and I even put like silica gel to suck up the moisture. Okay, now we're going to open more stuff. Let's open this one because this looks interesting. It already looks like eyeshadow palettes because the first one on the top is already one eyeshadow palette. Let's see, slice it open. So the first one that I was talking about is this one. This is from Curry's and it was like some collaboration. Limited edition, Esther Loves True times IPKN. So this is Le Esther Loves IPKN. And these shades are so pigmented and they survived. So this is how it looks like. Uh, I highly enjoy this. I think you might still be able to get it or maybe not. I still see their collaboration Curling Aryan. So I'm not sure about their makeup. I will continue using that for sure. Okay, now this one over here, I think I got some PR from Rimmel. I thought I got something that's a little bit more bluish too, but maybe I gave that away already. But this one is supposed to be like a Urban Decay Heat. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, the dupe. So this one is the Spice Edition from Rimmel. Okay, so I barely used it and I'm glad that they are fine even though it is a drugstore packaging. They are all very safe. This, I was thinking about this recently. Do I? Oh yeah, I was thinking about this one because it reminded me of the Burberry packaging. Please survive. He's totally fine. I love him so much and I'm pretty sure I got this in the mascara eyeshadow palette in the beauty chest. Yeah. And then I had to pack it in which was so sad but this thing is really heavy. And then these two eyeshadow palettes are from Pixi. Yeah, they sent over some skincare, uh, sent over some um, face color products, but I think these are the only eyeshadows from them. Let's look at this one, which is a little bit more interesting. This is just Reflex Light. So I think I brought this with me to, I can't remember, is it Australia or is it London? Pretty sure it's London. Yeah, so it was just like those eyeshadow palettes. Oh no, I think I brought this with me on my one month honeymoon because there were just so many color options. And then this one is just a more neutral one. This is probably uh, yeah, just called Natural Beauty, like very neutral shades. So let's move on. There's more eyeshadow palettes inside here because I see my beloved Ila Masca. Ila Masca doesn't sell, oh, see, lipstick. Doesn't sell in Singapore anymore, but it's one of my favorite brands because um, I discovered them through, look, fantastic. This is one of my favorites, and I think it should be fine because the packaging is very safe. It's, um, I only use like a couple shades, like the highlight and the browns, but it's one of my staples. And then this one, oh, this is one of my very old palettes, but this is actually for the face. It's the Freedom Pro, Pro wow. All right, let's try to pronounce this again. Freedom Pro Blush, Pro Blush Palette Bronze and Baked. So it's supposed to be more bronzy. This is how it looks like. I actually label over here what I can use for what. Like this is called E. What is E? Eyeshadow. And this is called bronzer. <laughs> so this is one of my oldest face palettes. But he still looks fine. <laughs> this one, my friend Laura gave this to me. Because someone gave it to her. And she doesn't really use it. But I know. Uh, I haven't shown you yet. But there's a NYX uh, eyeshadow palette over here. Which I gave to her. And she says that she used that way more than this one. So this is Tartlet in Bloom. I was going, no, I wasn't going to purchase because I have so much eyeshadows. But it was on my list to purchase and try one day. So I'm so excited that I got this. And everybody survived. Yep, you can see that some brush marks, they scare me a little bit. Because I looked closely and I thought it was something wrong. But it still smells good too. Okay, so now this one is again from NYX. So I got like a huge NYX palette. Now I'm starting to think that it wasn't from NYX and from Look Fantastic itself. This one is a highlighting palette. And 
some of it I have to use, like this one I have to use for eyeshadows. But I'm glad that they survived because I have another NYX palette which is also highlighters and they did not survive the shipping over to Singapore. So I actually repressed them, hopefully he's fine. This one I think it was 2018 or yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 2018. Uh, it was like the Lou Fantastic Advent Calendar and I was so excited for this. I'm pretty sure this was the first item. It was one of my first few like um, palettes again that actually work a lot better. It's from HD Brows Types Lou Fantastic. The Contour and Colored Pro Palette. This is how it looks like. Don't, don't worry, it always had this hard pen so they actually are fine. Okay, I see this next one that I was talking about. So I'm just going to cut through this and then we can talk about this one first. So this is the other next one and I actually repressed it myself. Yes, he is totally fine. It is the Love You So Mochi highlighting palette. Everybody survived but everybody does have a little bit of cracks. Uh, which is fine because I expected that. <laughs> so they're fine. And then this is from Slick which means it's again from LF. It is the contouring and blush palette. It's called Face Form. Oh yes, but these shades don't really work very well. It's like a little bit too highlighty and glittery, uh, but I would like to test it more. So it was pretty new when I first packed it in. This one, I'm pretty sure it was like one of the latest Evan Calendar. It's from Slick again, and this is the Solstice palette. I actually remember without even looking because it has this, which is a very highly waved shade. Very excited to give it more tries. Over here, it's again eyeshadow palette because at the top I see my one of my favorite ones which is Roman. Now I really really like that Roman brand but there's so many things that they just completely change in terms of their product. These two have very good memories because they were also from Curry's. I can't remember if they sent it to me or did I get it on a Korea brand trip. So I know one is day and one is night but you cannot tell what is what. You have to open it which is like quite dumb in terms of packaging. This one is the night one. I actually have pen over here. And I will continue using all this until the container breaks. I'm using like food trays to put all of this makeup. <laughs> and I'm, I feel like I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> and I think I have more makeup inside here. So this one is the Day Palette. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I know I dropped this palette. Yeah, so it's not because of this trip. But I think I dropped it when I was packing it or something like that. So that's a very beautiful palette. Oh, and then these are the Glow Cakes from Pixie. They have... Two different shades. I, I don't know. They sent me two different shades. Maybe they have three. This is the Gilded Bear Glow. So it's like uh, satisfy me in terms of like wanting to buy the Kevin Aquan. You know, they have the same thing that is like a gradient. And then this one is more blushy. That one is more highlighty. And then this one is more of a blushy shade. Even has this like glittery bronzer here. Okay, over here I have two slick makeup eyeshadow palettes. Uh, they are both from the Advent Calendar but different year. The first one that I got in the first year is this one, oh so special. I ha ooh, hardly use them though because of this thing. It like, irritates me and it's not very pigmented but I'm just glad to have stuff from this brand because I love the mattes but the, the highlights are not that great. This one is the second one that I got which is the All Natural. Oh, I love this way more because it's just so much easier to use. They have the same amount of shades, but I don't think I have any like same shades in two palettes. Okay, let's open this. From the touch of it, I can tell this is Ila Masca because they just have this like odd shape and I need to cut it. I'm pretty sure my favorite highlighter is inside. My favorite highlighter was from Ila, Ila Masca in the Advent Calendar which is pretty sure it's this one yes this is my favorite diety i was just um uh, i was like okay a highlighter cool cool inside event calendar but when i swatched it i loved it it just gives you this very natural glow from within so it's one of my favorites and that's how it looks like and then i got a couple more things from them from look fantastic this one is the powder blusher duo lover and hussy oh I love this shade on top. It's very peachy and then this one is a little bit too pink. Oh, I thought this was Ila Masca but it actually isn't. This one is from Guerlain. And this is called the Color Blush. Oh yeah, it's just like a blush but like different shades to it. So let me try to open. So you can kind of like blend it around. This is quite old already. You can see I've used quite a lot of it too. 
Okay, next up, this one. Oh, that's probably the NYX eyeshadow palette that I was talking about. This one is a fresh new one. Uh, I gave my friend the exact same one, but I think it was my older one and she did not mind. This one is the Warm Neutrals. It's uh, not silked already, but I haven't used it at all. It is brand new. There's just something so satisfying about brand new eyeshadow, like pristine powders, <laughs> that pristine surface. This one, I know I got it in LF again. All my Morphe, I only have two actually, they're from LF because I don't know how to get Morphe here in Singapore. So this one is an eyeshadow palette and it's 9A. This is how it looks like, I love it so much. It's very golden, golden brown. So let me just double check, but I'm pretty sure that's it for the makeup. Yeah, over here, I did bubble wrap a lot of stuff because it's all my husband's tea and it's like glass and tea cups. So my tea is down here too, his coffee thing is down here too. Uh, we have more of the uh, gloves when you're holding those hot microwave stuffs. And also some containers down here. So this, I'm just gonna leave it inside here first because I will have to open and wash them. But that's it for my makeup and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll open the skincare box soon. Hopefully you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!